There are a number of inexpensive Wi-Fi internet cameras on the market, but very few of them are weatherproof. Here I'm going to show you how I take an inexpensive fake camera housing obtained from Harbor Freight uh, and Tool Company and mount a real internet camera in it, resulting in a weatherproof, inexpensive internet security camera. I chose to use an inexpensive Wi-Fi camera that I obtained from Linksys and you'd be glad to know that there aren't any hidden screws under the labels that you have to remove. Merely pry the case halves apart using a, a dinner knife or a thin tool to work your way around the uh, circumference at the small crack uh, that you'll observe there. What you see here is the circuit board actually uh, uh, removed from the housing uh, and the lower part uh, you can actually see where the antenna is still, uh, uh, the Wi-Fi antenna is actually still hooked on. I'm going to actually cut that little black plastic strip there to remove the antenna. Also you see the little red and uh, black cable, that's the uh, built-in microphone. I'm just going to unplug that from the circuit board because I'm not going to use audio. Here you see another picture of uh, the circuit board uh, now showing that I've detached the Wi-Fi antenna. It's attached with about a, oh, I don't know, a six inch piece of wire. And I just did it by slitting the little black uh, plastic uh, attachment piece that uh, holds it in place. This is because the camera case is metal, the fake camera case, and I need to get that Wi-Fi antenna outside so it'll pick up properly. This is just another shot of uh, some of the components. You can see the camera case up at the top, the circuit board, and the two uh, camera halves from the uh, Linksys camera. And uh, you notice the coax cable uh, coming out of the camera housing. Actually, let's just loop through there. It's a fake cable. And you can just remove that. This is a shot of the little fake camera that actually comes from the inside uh, the camera. It has a little circuit in it that uh, blinks a, a dummy light. But you can remove it. It'll slide out if you just loosen the screw in the bottom of the camera case. It just slides in on that metal uh, platform and we'll use that to good effect here in just a minute. Here you can see that I have uh, actually removed the little piece of coax from the camera case. It's just looped through uh, in the one hole and out the other so it's fairly easy to remove and we're not going to use it so we'll just take it uh, out of the way. Here you can see how the uh, original fake camera is inserted backwards and it'll serve as the uh, support for the actual camera which I'm going to tape to the back of it. What you see here is another shot showing the uh, fake camera turned around backwards and placed back inside the uh, the uh, camera case and you notice it's inset just about a half an inch. That's a good place to start with. Uh, it's about the right depth. Basically what you want is uh, to wind up with the real camera uh, pressed up against the uh, the front glass and you'll just have to play with that to get the depth right. This small screw on the underside of the case acts as a friction lock to hold the fake camera platform in place. I decided to attach the circuit board to the back of the fake camera using double-sided sticky tape. Here's a side view of what that looks like after I've stuck the circuit board to the back of the fake camera. Here I've removed the back of the uh, fake camera housing. In a minute we're going to show you how we modify that uh, plastic housing to allow the power cord to pass through in a weatherproof fashion. As you can see the back consists of thin plastic. In just a minute I'll show you the notch that I'm going to make to allow the power cord to pass through. This shows you the notch that I just uh, basically uh, wore out with a, a small saw blade. Again, this is a plastic piece, so it's fairly easy. Uh, whatever method you want to use to, to cut a little notch out just big enough for the cord to pass through is, uh, is fine. Uh, again, I just found that uh, sawing on it a little bit to nibble it out with a, a little uh, 
saw blade worked very well. Now the Wi-Fi signal won't pass through the metal case so you have to get the Wi-Fi antenna actually outside the case for good reception and uh, it uh, is attached with a single uh, feed wire and this is a notch that I cut in the bottom part of the front plastic face of the fake camera to allow that wire to pass out past the uh, weatherproof gasket so this will allow the antenna to uh, be on the outside when we reassemble the camera. So back to the rear half, here you can see it uh, fastened back on the end of the camera and you see the uh, power uh, cable for the real uh, camera, the Linksys camera and its wall wart uh, passes nicely past the, uh, the rubber gasket uh, into the case so uh, this ought to be pretty weatherproof. Uh, if you want to make sure just put a little silicone around the uh, opening and uh, it'll be uh, very weatherproof. Here you can see a shot of uh, me sliding the um, tape assembly partially back into the camera case. You can see how the real camera circuit board is fastened to the end of the back of the fake camera which I've just turned around in the case and uh, it'll slide right in there and, and mount uh, just as easily as the original fake camera did. You want to position the uh, real camera so that it, there's, it protrudes just a little bit from the, um, uh, the camera case. Actually it ended up being a little bit more than what I show here. Uh, the idea is that uh, it'll end up being pressed uh, fairly and firmly against the front face uh, when the front face is in position and you'll just have to play with the spacing uh, to get that where you want it. Here you can see a shot of the uh, camera actually uh, in the uh, housing and you can see the, the real camera uh, circuit board uh, behind the clear plexiglass uh, face and uh, this is pretty much what you're shooting for uh, as the end result. And here you see a, another shot of the um, front cover detail showing the small hole where the uh, Wi-Fi antenna for the real camera passes out through uh, the plastic uh, bezel and the waterproof gasket Again, you could add a little drop of silicone uh, sealant here if you're really concerned about the hole, but it is on the bottom side of the camera and uh, should be weatherproof. So here you see the finished product sitting on a shelf in uh, my workroom. Here's an actual screenshot of my workroom uh, from the finished camera via Wi-Fi as taken uh, on my MacBook. So there you have it, taking uh, an inexpensive internet camera and a $30 fake camera housing and coming up with a truly weatherproof uh, camera.